what's up everybody so i just realized i didn't really film an intro for this video because it's so windy this morning when i got on the water i kind of just wanted to try to see if i could even fish because the wind was so bad so i kind of just filmed a little bit in the morning caught a few fish i'm gonna show you that fish i just caught on camera right now and then i'm gonna kind of walk you through the day and show you the footage from those fish give me one Right there, right there, right there. Not much, but I'll take it. Oh, I've been trying to get this fish forever. Oh my God. It's the hardest fighting two pounder I've ever caught in my life. Oh, got him, got him. That's a good fish actually, that's bigger than two pounds. Right on. Alright, here's that fish you just saw me catch. It's a good two, two and a half pound smallmouth. Solid fish. I caught it on the swim jig. I'll show you right here. This bay. And this is kind of what I've been catching all my fish on today. So I'm going to show you those fish right now. I'm going to throw this guy back real quick. Alright, so that was the fish I just caught on camera. I'm going to show you the one I caught this morning. It was about two, two and a half pound largemouth. Pretty much caught on the same exact swim jig. I lost the one, but it was the same color. It's just these natural colors with these twin tail grubs. So I'm going to put that fish in right here. Nice large on the swim jig. Good fish. Okay, the next fish I caught after that was a smaller smallmouth. It was probably a pound. I caught it on the same exact bait. I'm gonna put that right here. And then I kept fishing down that wall and I caught another bigger, pretty good sized smallmouth. It was pretty close to three pounds when I weighed it. That one was on a swim jig too, but I put a paddle tail trailer on it. That was a pretty nice fish. So I'm gonna put that in right here. The wind got real bad after that. I pretty much moved around all day. I went to the very south side of the lake. I tried to fish for largemouth mainly, target them with some spinner baits and some flipping baits. Couldn't find anything. And then I pulled up to one of my old favorite spots where there's always smallmouth. Pulled up through the same exact jig and caught this fish right here I'm gonna put in. And after that, I just came back to where I was this morning because that's the only place that's really catching fish today. That was the fish I caught at the beginning of this video. So yeah, pretty much just swim jig all day. This is an Outcast Tackle quarter ounce swim jig. These are Gary Yamamoto twin tail trailers. 
Um, this is kind of my favorite setup out here, the smallmouth of it. I often catch a largemouth too. The hooks are big enough to get in those big largemouth and still be able to hook them good. And it's also small enough for the smallmouth to be able to get their mouths around it. Even the smaller smallmouth you saw. So I'm going to do some other stuff soon. I'm going to post some tackle videos, some boat videos. Anything you guys want to see, let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a fan. Hopefully you guys can hit that subscribe button. If you want to see some more, hit the like button. I don't know. But thank you.